not sleeping with nobody that's not down for my people. I also want to have a vision together. I want us to embrace each other as we grow and as we change. And, and what is our goal together at the end of it? Do we want to build a family? Do we want to combine efforts and, and you know, save the world in some way? Whatever it may be for you, it might be also just, you know, protecting each other's peace. Whatever the vision is, that's mm -hmm. that, that kind of gives you something to work towards and you guys celebrate it as you guys near your goal, you know? And what I love is what o Michelle Obama said. She said, it's, it's important to marry someone who is your equal and to marry yes. someone who wants you to win as much as you want them to win. It's, a, it's about, when I talk yes. about equality, Garcelle and Adrian, this is what yeah. I'm talking about. We're talking about equality in relationships. We're talking yeah. about every, right. and I'm not saying you got to be rich, rich, you know, but have some ambition, have some, some, some yeah. thought, be your own person. And then, you, you yeah. know, when you come together, you guys add and become this great team. No, you oh. want to feel cherished. You want to feel yeah. cherished. You want to feel respected. You want to feel like they are happy that you're in their life. I think all those things are good. Will I still feel challenged? I will still want to do things even if my man did all those things for me. As what do you to say to him? Every, I just wake up and I say, oh, I want a snack or whatever. And See, he absolutely that's... goes and gets it for me. But why he do you feel bad about it. that? Why do you I feel, feel, I feel, I feel bad about that? Well, now I, now I feel bad because no, I, I, don't I never get, thought no. of it as being such a, like, oh, make him get up and go do something like, or that there's there people out There is no part of this that is insinuating Do you feel it loved when he does that? Ask. I feel yeah. so loved. I feel so taken care of. If I'm being honest, I feel so spoiled rotten. And I actually, Adrian, he says it I know that you when do he brings things it back, he goes, him. oh, you know you're spoiled, right? And I say, yeah, I know I'm spoiled. When you set the stage and you say very clear things, you don't have to have somebody worrying about, you know, if they are DTRing the relationship later on, if they're like wondering, like, What's is he gonna DTR? post about me? What's DTR? Defining the relationship. People have to define the relationship a month still after because they don't know if we're really dating or if we're just seeing each other. Yeah, like that's it's so. I, I really love a green flag is when someone tells you exactly what they want, uh, and I they should show or, that I, they want you. I think when it comes to dating, you have to have compatibility, and that doesn't it doesn't matter what color you are. But James and I, because of everything that has been happening this summer, we really like started watching more documentaries. We started having really deep discussions and understanding, but he has always been an ally. First of all, I'm gonna tell anybody out there, I don't care what color it is, make sure that a person understands who you are and what you stand for. Soulmates is somebody that is your lover. Soulmates <laughs> is somebody that you have sex with. No. No, you do you not get have that into the soul. No, 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 no. You get no. deep soulmates? into that no. genie. Mm. I think soulmates, mm. I think soulmates are kindred spirits. You feel like you've known each other in a past life. You have a spiritual connection with each other.